This video is brought to you by SEMrush. Switching between a dozen marketing tools can really slow you down. You spend time hunting for the right features instead of actually getting work done. What if there was a way to have everything you need in one place, organized around exactly what you do? Well, that's where SEMrush's new update comes in. My name is Daniel, and in this video, I'll give you a quick tour of these changes and show you why this could be a game changer for your workflow. Stick around, because I'm also sharing a hands-on look at the SEO toolkit and how it can simplify managing your sites. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's dive in. SEMrush updates. Are you tired of bouncing between a million marketing tools? One minute you're deep in SEO, then it's ad stuff, then tracking content, and half of it isn't even helping. Why not just stick with what actually moves the needle? And that, guys, is where SEMrush comes in. Everything you need, all in one place. And you only pay for what you actually use. Quick heads up. SEMrush just rolled out some big updates to how everything looks and works. And it's actually a pretty nice change. Starting April 30th, if you log into your SEMrush account, you'll notice the interface looks a little different. They've given it a fresh update to make things simpler and faster to use. Basically, it's now easier to find the tools you actually use instead of digging around for them. The biggest change is that SEMrush is now organized around something they are calling toolkits. So depending on what kind of marketer you are, whether you're into SEO, content, social media, or paid ads, there's a specific toolkit for your needs. It's all about making your workflow smoother and more focused. So now, instead of just saying, I use SEMrush, you'll probably be saying, I use the SEMrush SEO toolkit or the content toolkit because everything's grouped in a more logical way based on what you're actually doing. Honestly, this makes a lot of sense. Especially if you're tired of clicking around trying to find the one feature you use every day. Everything's just way more organized now. I'm working on a deep dive review of this whole new setup. So stay tuned for that. It'll be going up on both channels and it should help you get a better feel for what's changed and how to get the most out of it. Managing sites made easy with the SEMrush toolkit. Let's say you're an SEO specialist managing several websites. Your job is to analyze traffic, keywords, and competitor issues. To start, you choose a toolkit. And in this case, it's the SEO toolkit. As someone handling multiple websites, you don't have time to keep jumping between five different tools. That's where this toolkit helps, guys. It gives you a full overview of each project, all in one place. Let me show you using my own Daniel blog as an example. You can see the dashboard for my site. Things like site health, errors, and more. The dashboard gives a complete picture of your site. You can check domain analytics, run a site audit, see how healthy your site is, spot errors and warnings, and check your rankings for specific keywords. The Backlinks Audit section shows you the technical health of your site. You'll see your overall health score, how many pages were scanned, and if there are any critical issues or warnings. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Now let's jump into the Site Audit tool and check out what errors we've got. Right now we're seeing zero errors. But there are some warnings listed in the SEO site audit that we should fix. The cool part is, for each issue, SEMrush gives you clear tips on how to fix it. You can even send those tasks straight to Trello or Zapier Task Manager to keep your workflow smooth. You can also explore your site's structure and run a full audit based on detailed stats. This tool is super useful before launching any ad campaigns or when creating reports for a client before starting optimization work. It helps you keep a regular check on your site's technical health. Next up is the position tracking tool. This one shows the keywords you're monitoring, what's been added, what you've lost, and where you rank. For example, we're tracking the keyword install Docker. Right now it's in the top 100, but our visibility score is still at 0%. In this tool, it's super important to keep your data updated regularly and choose the keywords you actually want to rank for, ones that match your site's goals. 
you can also look for new keyword opportunities that have strong traffic potential and could help your site grow. There are two features in here that use AI from SEMrush to recommend the most relevant keywords for your site based on what you're trying to achieve. Next, let's look at the Backlink Audit section, where we dive into your site's incoming links. You'll see how many domains are linking to your site and a toxic score that shows if any of those links might be harmful. For example, I might have 15 backlinks, and while some could be risky, on my site they're marked as non-toxic. This whole audit helps you focus on what really matters and is often used to protect your site from SEO spam. And finally, one of the most powerful and must-have tools in the set is the on-page SEO checker, which we'll look at next. This tool gives you smart suggestions for improving your pages. It could be things like fixing your keywords, improving backlinks, or making the page easier to use. In my case, it's telling me I need to improve how my page shows up in SERP features, like featured snippets or site links on Google. The on-page SEO checker highlights all these suggestions. You can go through them and choose to add new pages, update keywords, or optimize existing content based on the keywords you're targeting. It's especially useful when working on main blog pages, doing a quick content audit before publishing, or creating a solid brief for copywriters. For me, the SEO toolkit is the heart of everything. I can see all the important stuff, traffic, keywords, backlinks, tech issues, and content in one place. And what's great about it all is that I don't have to switch between tools. Everything I need is right there on the SEMrush SEO dashboard. Final thoughts. So that's a quick look at the new SEMrush update and how their toolkits can really simplify your marketing work. If you're tired of jumping between tools and want something that keeps everything organized and easy to find, this update could be just what you need. I definitely recommend giving SEMrush a try, especially the toolkit that fits your marketing style. It's all about saving time and focusing on what actually helps you grow. If you've used the new SEMrush update already, or if you decide to check it out after this video, drop a comment below and let me know what you think. Got questions? I'm here to help. And if you want to see a deeper dive into the SEO toolkit and other parts of SEMrush, just say the word. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.